Hello. Set review, another one. So, <clears throat> hello, I am Great Taco, and yeah, this is 75036 Utapau Troopers from the 2014 wave of Star Wars sets, or one of them at the very least, I don't know which one. <clears throat> so, I mean, I'm going to start with the build first, because the minifigures are the highlight of the set, that's why you would have bought it back in the day, or even nowadays. I'll get to pricing in a minute, but or from yeah. So the main build this is this droid. I don't know I don't remember what it's called. I probably should have looked that up before filming this. And you'll notice I actually did build them bubble legs differently because I couldn't find the right parts for like couldn't find more of this piece here. So I used a substitute of the other like kind of joint, the kind of more clawed one instead of the kind of one, so yeah, it works the same. Same kind of hinges or whatever. This can also spin. Helicopter. I don't know. The legs are fully articulated. Not much you can really do with it. I mean, you can't pose this. <clears throat> you can't get into a walking pose unless you anchor it down to something, which is not ideal. Because, you know, it is a tripod, so you let one leg up, the rest of every it'll just falls over. So, yeah. Um, they actually use these wheel pieces. This is like a thin wheel. It's not a terribly interesting piece, but it is a very good one nonetheless. It works really well here. Then for moving further up the build, there's obviously another one of these wheels. But then you have these flip fire missiles because this was like I think the year they the year that they made these spring loaded shooters or the year before. I don't remember which, but these shoot not very well, but they shoot. So, no, oh, I gotta go get that up one. Dang it. And actually, so, got the missile, I'll throw you back. <laughs> um, I don't like the flick missile features particularly much, especially on this one because the head gets, in, or this top piece gets in the way of being able to flick them properly. Um, also, they kind of just look odd <laughs> on sets like this. I think on certain sets, they actually look pretty good. Like, for example, um, like most original themes, they look decent, but on licensed themes, they just... <sighs> Especially in the early days of these flick missiles, they really just dropped the ball on them. Later on, they usually did to something like this. They'd have a cone on the end of it, or there would be a light bulb piece, which I... Or, not light bulb piece, it's a Baraki eye. I don't have any on hand right now, so... Can't show you what that piece looks like. Probably won't edit it in either, because I'm lazy. <laughs> but up top here, keep in mind, so I, more incorrect colors here. This dark gray piece should be light gray, and this light gray one should be dark gray, so it's not too big of a difference. But yeah, it looks pretty, it looks decent. I like the shaping of this piece here. On the top is this, this um, weird like dome piece. I've only gotten it here. I know it comes in other. I know. Da, 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 da. I've. I know that it has come in other sets before, and after, but it is not one that I've ever gotten again because it's such a specific, or it's a part with such a specific use. So I don't think they use it very often because of that. So with that out of the way, this unposable droid minifigures. So this is the basic, kind of basic, 212th clone trooper. Um, this, this is the phase two helmet. Um, it has leg printing, which I actually really like. Well, I know that some of the older ones didn't have that. That was a nice thing to see. Kind of little focus. You can kind of see how that looks. That, that's the cheese. And the torso print is kind of along the similar vein. I like how the orange kind of like, has a nice transition down to the legs. Kind of just gets covered up by this belt here, but I like it overall. You turn around to the back, there's the back. Kind of just pretty basic clone fare. And the helmet, actually a really nice looking helmet overall. It's some like dirt 
splotches, which are actually are also on the rest of the armor as well. Then there's some orange on the top to kind of signify what legion it's a part of, and some of it looks, some of it like is designed to be like look eh, like it got scratched off in battle or something. So I like that overall. This is a nice mold overall, all around. Um, and the face print is just this basic angry clone that everyone hates. So, so there's two of those in the set. No, it's not focusing. Fun. So there's two of them, and there's two of the airborne troopers. Now these ones are actually really cool because they have. They also, they all have stuff shooters. Probably worth knowing. Everyone knows what these look like. Everyone knows what they do. So, not super interesting. Oh. And these ones are actually look really cool because they have this um, cloth piece around their waist. It's a nice looking piece. I know on the old Clone Wars sets they would do these in plastic and it did not work very well. They restrict the posability a lot more than this does. I keep in mind this still does restrict it a little bit, but that's as far back as his leg can go, so. You just run the risk of like ruining the piece because it is like the old paper, papery kind of cloth of leg we used to use. It's still sometimes used today, actually, now I'm thinking about it. The legs are different. They have, they don't have the orange design right around the hip piece. And just like over here, let's bring another trooper into the picture here. You can see how the legs are different. This one has the, two, the double stripe instead. And there are still dirt splotches on these ones as well, which looks very nice. Those are just across the whole figure. Gosh, these are dusty. I should have done that before the video or start recording. <clears throat> Moving up a little further, they have the kind of belt it has some orange highlights on it which looks really good then it only have one orange arm and one white arm whereas the other ones had an orange or just two orange the back print has like this kind of strap going across maybe like an ammo belt or something i don't know the detail the schematics of clones because you know <laughs> And the helmet is its own unique mold. They don't really make these that often, to be honest. Or they don't use them that often. The most recent I can think of was um, the 2020 General Grievous Starfighter? I think it was 2020, at least. That was the last time they used this helmet for a 212 trooper. And it's a nice helmet. It's got the two stripes. The eyes, or the visor, looking decent there. And the printing, if I can get closer than that, okay, it's the closest it's gonna get. The printing looks really good here. Just like the, this is the amount of detail is great. Especially by 2014 standards. Then, of course, orchard splashes. So, all around, I think this is a good set. Kind of. So, there is a certain level, or there's a point where, like, you know, on the aftermarket, because this is, like, an eight-year-old set, I think. Or so, this, yeah, it's eight years old at this point. So, of course, you know, it, they're not making it anymore, <laughs> naturally. So, on the aftermarket, getting just the main build, no minifigures, will run you about five bucks. I don't remember how much it went for in 20. 2014 it was a gift i'm assuming it's probably like something like 10 or 15 but just the build is, is five now if you want to get the build and the minifigures that'll run you a minimum of 50. <laughs> it's ridiculous the max i found was like 100. but it just goes to show that how much these minifigures really mean to people like in terms of monetary worth because don't get me wrong they are good minifigures but not to the point of being that much worth that much but you know People will be people. So I'd say if you want these troopers, let's get a set that's on the market right now because these are not worth it. Um, with that, I mean, there's not much I really have to say about this, about this set, so.
Ciao.